Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Meredith and today I have for you, I know it says over here the 12th month of 2021 empties, but this is actually quarter four empties for 2021. So I've actually already filmed the first part of this series. So um, I over there I have so in the first part, I actually have my little bit more than a first impression of all of the products that I started using in 2021 quarter four. And here I'm going to actually have all of the, and, and in this part, of, and in part two, aka right now, I'm going to have all of the empties that I have from this quarter. So this will be like a longer review format. So I have like actual thoughts now that I've processed and things like that. So um, if you haven't already watched the other part, go over there and watch it. And then if you're just interested in empties, they are coming now. And then after I film this, I'm actually going to film another one, which will be part three. And this will be actually an overview of all of the subscription box products that I've used up this year in 2021, just so that if you you are looking forward to like thinking about how you can use your subscription box products in a year trying to figure it out so you can strategically plan that video might be for you I just know that that's the type of thing I would look for on YouTube and I'm hoping that maybe somebody else out there is weird like me um, so do consider subscribing and putting the bell icon on I have a lot of subscription box unboxings I also have spoiler videos and vlog content if you're interested in that and I also do my skincare reviews and other things as well so thank you again for watching and let me just jump in right away. Um, I'm looking right now at it and I'm going to start with the skincare and makeup empties. I'm going to start with skincare because that's my passion. Okay, so the first three things are going to be some little foil packs um, and these I've been saving. So um, I have I've also used a few other sheet masks, but I didn't keep them because I was like in a hotel and it's weird to pack empty sheet mask containers um, from a hotel room. Um, so I actually ended up saving this. So this is the Gentle Steam Eye Mask and this is from Japan. Um, I bought it on YesStyle. So again, if I do have any links, I'll link them below. And if there's an asterisk, it means that it is a referral link, or not a referral link, an affiliate link. So that means I'll get like maybe a couple pennies from your purchase if you end up using it. Um, but I did buy it on YesStyle and this one is looks like this. So I did save it to show you. Um, so basically you put it on your eyes and then you put these ear loops around your ears and it kind of helps you relax in the evening. Um, they do have scented ones. The ones that I bought particularly this time are unscented just because um, I don't really necessarily enjoy the scent as much as the next guy. Um, but I have in the past bought one that is lavender and one that is citrus. Um, and I did enjoy them. I just prefer, again, for unscented steam. So this next one here is from Innisfree and this one is the it's and this one is the It's Real Squeeze Mask in Strawberry. Um, so I do like the Innisfree masks, they're pretty nice. And they're usually on sale. I think actually right now they might be 10 plus 10, which means you get 20 of them for 10. Wow, no, really, I don't know how prices work, but you get 10, buy 10, get 10 free. That's what it means. Um, but anyway, I do like this sheet mask. I don't really necessarily think it does that much, but it says it's supposed to do um, but it does say that it's supposed to leave my skin looking smooth and bright, and it left it looking smooth. I don't want to just... I'm very slurry right now. I'm so sorry. This is like my fourth video I filmed today. Um, but this one means that it's supposed to be skin looking smooth and bright. So my skin lo looks smooth, but it doesn't necessarily look much brighter than usual. So I don't know if that just means I've been using a lot of brightening products, or if it's like hard to tell with just a single use product. The next one is this V-shape mask, and this one I think is just hilarious. I do it whenever I need some fun. Um, I think this actually is the last one. So this is the Super Shape Hot and Face V-mask sheet. So basically what you do is you put it underneath your chin and you hook it up to your ears, and it's supposed to like firm your chin area to make it into a V-shape, which is like the Asian, like, beauty standard thing. Um, anyway, I don't think it does anything. I just think it's funny and I like using it. But yeah, anyway, this one I think is the last one. Oh, this should have been in the other videos. So this is from e.l.f. This is the Holy Hydration Face Cream. I ended up bringing this with me on um, Thanksgiving to home to Minnesota and actually I think that this actually went bad so I ended up scraping out the face cream but I have refilled it with other stuff um, and I don't really have any opinion about it except for to say that if you do get a sample like this make sure you use it right away it basically changed into like a hard balm which is I don't think what it's supposed to be because I'm like just basing it completely on this picture but it looks like it's supposed to be like a cream um, so anyway better safe than sorry for that and I just threw it away um, so just a word of warning to you
Okay, this next product here is a sample. This is from Caudalie. This is the Vino Source Creme Sorbet. And I started using this in October and I used it up. And also I think it was slightly old, so I didn't really use it completely, completely all the way because the texture was a little bit weird. Um, this was a nice cream, but again, I don't think I necessarily would repurchase it because I think creams are kind of a dime a dozen unless I see something super magical. And this one just wasn't super magical to me at least. So that being said, I'm moving on to another cream. This is from Fresh, and this was sent to me free for review from Octoly, and I got it in middle of June. And um, I think I used it up in about five months. Sorry about the ambulance noise. And this one is the Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. It's a strengthening damask rose in a duo of hyaluronic acids. Um, this was a pretty good face cream, actually. I was a little bit worried about the rose scent at first, but it's a very natural rose scent. It doesn't smell very artificial. It doesn't smell like potpourri. It doesn't, also doesn't smell like old lady perfume or anything like that. Um, necessarily don't think I would repurchase this just because it again was a just a regular face cream for me um it was like on the light to medium weight so if you are looking for like a light to medium weight texture you might want to check this out maybe go ask at sephora for a sample or something like that um and i think it's usually on sale around this time of year with fresh um so it probably comes in some of their gift sets as well So this next one here is from Dr. Zenobia. It's the Clear Complexion Aloe Vera Blemish Soothing Moisturizer. Um, so actually this one is a moisturizer, but it does a little bit more than I think just a regular average moisturizer. Um, so I was sent to this... So I was sent this free for... So I was sent this in PR, but that's not clouding my judgment here. Um, you know that I'm very honest. So I did get it in... November 2020 and I think I used it up around a year later so in 2021 November um, but I ended up really enjoying this product and my friend and I actually were talking about it um, because actually I sent her some of my other PR for her to try uh, so we all have been suffering from maskne and other things and also like hormonal acne and things like that and this is like supposed to be targeted for hormonal acne I actually don't really have that much of hormonal acne but I did enjoy this product so since it does have the aloe vera it is somewhat moisturizing even though it's fighting those blemishes so when I do get a breakout I do start putting this on along with the spot treatment and um, I really do think that it helps clear it up pretty quickly um, instead of it lingering for like a week and a half it's usually gone in like three to four days um, this particular one was also um, very hydrating and things like that and it also has no scent and in terms of Dr. Zenobia they either have like very like reasonably priced items but it can also go very expensive very fast but this particular line the clear complexion line is a little bit more on the reasonable price sort of um but it kind of is like this this particular line the this particular line, the clear complexion line, is kind of in the reasonable priced range, in my opinion at least, especially since it does work for acne, um, at least for me. Okay, so this next product, these next products are some luxury products. Um, so this one is from Estee Lauder. This one was sent to me free for review on Octoly, and this one is the Advanced Night Repair Eye Concentrate Matrix. So this particular product, um, I think it was fine. I don't think I would repurchase. Um, but in terms of the sample, it was very hard to use at the end just because there is still actually product in there. I just can't get it out. So there is like this weird paddle thing. And now that I see it, it was able to get more out. But anyway, um, it's very hard to use. And um, I was griping about it before. But the reason being is that they were trying to sample this out because of their new formulation. And they have like a new um, cryo wand that's supposed to be metal. But as you saw, that was not metal. It was definitely plastic. Um, but it is just an okay matrix eye concentrate matrix I don't think it's necessarily anything special it's just like a regular eye serum um would not purchase at full price at least um but maybe if they had like a huge kit for free with purchase maybe the next one is the next one is from Amore Pacifics it's the time response eye reserve creme and this particular product I love but I don't love the price. So I think the original full price for the full size item is like $300 after taxes, which is not something I can afford or justify in my current state of life. Um, but this product works really well. I can usually tell when I don't use it. Um, so this sample I got through Octoly, and then I ended up repurchasing the K-Beauty J-Beauty box 
on um, Allure just because this had the same sample in there and it was like a relatively good price. I actually think that they still have a pretty good sale going on. A sale? They have a good sale going on right now on the Allure Beauty Box if you are still looking to pick one up um, because this was a very high value item and I think you can pick up that box for like 30 bucks. some foil packets from Solasu, so they're kind of similar actually, if not the same, no they're not the same. Um, so this one here, the gold package, is the ginseng line. I do think this is a nice product. Um, I got the sample like multiple times throughout the years and um, they haven't really changed their formula which is great. The one thing I would say is that if you don't enjoy ginseng, don't buy this because it's a very ginseng scent and if you don't know what I mean, it kind of smells like tree roots because that's what it is basically. Um, so it's very herbal scented. Um, and then this is the First Care Activating Serum, and this one I think is also quite nice. I think this one is more of like the general, like still expensive but not like breaking the bank expensive sort of price line for Solposu. So I do like them and I probably won't repurchase like the full size, but I would definitely still use the samples if they ever send them to me or I get them as a free with purchase gift from Sephora or something. Okay, the next item here Okay, the next item here, oh my hair. I'm so sorry you've been looking at my hair like this the whole time. I've been like trying to fix it and stuff like that because I'm trying to fluff it up because I've been in here for like five hours filming. But anyway, this is from You Beauty and this is the resurfacing compound and I got it from Allure Beauty Box. I do pay for Allure Beauty Box with my own money. And this one I started using in um, June. So I started using June 6, 2021 and I think I finished using it around um, November. Um, so I used it for about five months and it's supposed to be good for 12 months after opening. Um, anyway, this was a pretty good serum. It's not my magical serum, so still my magical serum is the Dermalect Sleep Serum that I got from Allure Beauty Box as well. Um, this one seemed like it was going to be somewhat similar in terms of what the promises and the claims were, um, but I just don't think it necessarily did as much for me as the Sleep Serum did from Dermalect. Um, this particular product is also expensive. I think it's like $150 to $165 for this size, and I would not purchase that at this price. Um, but it is a really nice serum. It's very medium weight, I would say. So it's like kind of, it moves a little bit when you pump it out, but it's also like not super runny, but it's also not like not moving. Um, it does leave your skin somewhat sticky without being like super duper sticky either. Um, in terms of the benefits, I do think that it helped a little bit in terms of evening some of my skincare concerns or skin tone concerns rather. Um, but I don't think it really did anything super duper magic. So again, if it was super duper magic, I might consider purchasing it for $150 um, just because it does replace quite a few other steps in the skincare routine, but I just like didn't see that many special results. Okay, the next, the next item is from, um, what is this from? Strybectin is the anti-wrinkle, wrinkle recode line transforming melting serum. So this particular one was sent to me free for review, I don't remember from where. I don't think it was Optily, I think it was just free for review. Um, and this particular product was okay. I don't necessarily know if I used it enough to know if it was really worth um, purchasing at full price because I think Strabectin is kind of expensive and this is supposed to be for anti-wrinkle. So this is like a very strange texture. So it's kind of like comes out like, um, like an ointment. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. It comes out kind of like an ointment texture, but then once it hits your skin, it has like, um, it melts to your body temperature, so it kind of changes into a serum. So it's kind of nice in that way, and you only need one little tiny pump for your entire face, or at least that's been my experience. The one thing I would say is that I was not a huge fan of this smell. So I don't think it's a scented product at all. It just kind of smells chemically, kind of like oil or something, um, like motor oil, so um, that's not typically so it's like not typically my go-to smell um, for how I want my face to smell as I'm doing my skincare um, I do think it was nice it didn't break me out or anything like that I just don't know if it necessarily helped me with my wrinkle situation the next thing here is from Dr. Jart is the tea treatment and this is a cleansing foam um, so again, I don't really break out that much, but when I do, I like to have like a little bit of things in my arsenal. Um, so I like these small kind of acne treatment kits. 
Um, there is my production of Zenobia, so I will try to link it below if you're interested in checking it out. It's a relatively good price for trying out the line to see if it works well with your skin. But anyway, this one was from Dr. Jart. I bought the kit at TJ Maxx last year, I think for very cheap actually. Um, I do think that this cleansing foam was nice, but I don't think it necessarily did anything special. Um, it also wasn't super foamy, so if you're looking for a super foamy cleansing foam, this is probably not for you. It does have a slight scent, so again, it is a tea tree scent because it does have tea tree oil in it. Um, and it's supposed to be like naturally good for your like anti-acne things and things like that. Otherwise, it is pretty gentle. It doesn't dry out my skin. Okay, moving on. This is from Garnier. It's the Skin Active Clearly Brighter Leave-On Peel, Overnight Leave-On Peel. Um, so I bought this at Marshalls a while ago. So um, you can see that there's still stuff in it, but I think it might have gone bad. It started smelling a little bit funky. Um, I do think that this was a nice product, actually. I think I got it for like five bucks at Marshalls. Um, so I would say that I would consider repurchasing it, but I just need to use it faster. Um, I don't really necessarily think that it was magic, but I also don't think it wasn't magic either. Uh, I don't I don't know how else to say it. I think it was just a very average sort of product and I do think that it did help slightly with um, some of my like peeling some of the, like the layers and pores and things like that um, and it didn't really make me look let's like okay uh, let me try to rephrase this. So it says it's clearly brighter and sometimes I get worried when it says that because sometimes there are some chemicals in there that make my skin look like super bright and I didn't want that. So um, it wasn't like a super, if you're going in thinking it's going to be like a super Asian product where it's going to be like bright bright, it's not going to do that. But it is nice for like getting some of the dullness from your skin. I think that's a better way to pr promote it. Um, I do think it was a good price, especially since again, I got it at Marshalls. Actually, no, I got it at TJ Maxx. Um, but yeah, it was a good product and I would consider repurchasing. Okay, this next product is from Glow Recipe. It's the Avocado Ceramide Recovery Serum. Um, so you can see that there is some product stuck in here. I just couldn't get it out. Like I took the lid off and things and I just like couldn't get it out. And at this point it's kind of expired. So I got this in April from Octoly. So this was sent to me free for review. I think it was a fine product. Um, again, I'm not a huge fan of Glow Recipe. Um, I like their products, but I also like don't like the scents of their products. So to me, it again, smells very much like a high school sort of scent. Um, so I think that their demographic is kind of like early 20s white women. Um, I don't know how else to say it, but it is what it is. So this smells to me like an avocado milkshake, so not totally what I want on my face. I don't think it necessarily did anything super fancy for my face either. Um, I think it is targeted more for people with redness, and I don't really have that much redness on my skin. Um, so maybe I wasn't the target market. It was a nice serum, but again, I don't think I would purchase at full price. So I'm going, to just con I'm going to just continue with the glow recipe train here. This is the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. Um, this came with a kit that I got given for Christmas, I think, last year. Maybe, no, two years ago maybe. Anyway, um, I finished using it and it was a nice sleeping mask. Um, I usually put it on like as a sixth layer or something. Um, I do a lot of skincare at night, but this one I usually try to seal in my moisturizer and usually it was like the second layer of moisturizer. Um, so I think it was fine, but I don't think I would have purchased a full price. Again, very sweet scent. So the watermelon scent smells like watermelon candy to me, which is not what I want my face to smell like. Um, so. It is what it is, but when I did use it, oh, that's the other thing. When I woke up in the morning after I used it, it kind of peeled on my face. There was always like little, I don't know, stringy squigglies, like when you went like this, um, you can still feel it on my face. So um, I don't necessarily know if that was just because of the sleeping mask or because I layered a lot of products, but again, that's just been my experience. I did think that it was very moisturizing though. Um, so even though I had like the weird peeling squigglies on my face, it did make my face I mean, my face did feel very soft when I woke up. Okay, the next product is this little, the next product is this little tiny La Mer Moisturizing Soft Cream sample. So I got this, I have like, Honestly, I have like six samples from La Mer right now in my skincare cabinet over there. Um, I do think this was a really nice cream, but it did have a scent. So it smells like baby powder to me, like the fresh scent um, of a baby powder. So I wasn't a huge fan of that. The soft cream actually worked really well. I hate to admit it because this is like so expensive. Um, but that being said, I don't think I would purchase at full price because again, a moisturizer for me is like not necessarily worth that much money, especially when it's like... 
I don't know, it was moisturizing, but I don't think it like did anything super duper special either. Um, so I mean, it worked better than some of the other ones I reviewed earlier, but it also like, I don't think it worked that much better for it to be like $200. Um, so I will continue using the samples if they ever continue sending them to me, um, but it was quite nice. Okay, so I apologize, my hair is getting worse. So this is from Louie by Jean Saw, and this is just a hydrating and calming serum. And this is um, a hyaluronic acid serum, and it was actually pretty inexpensive when I looked it up. I got it in my mega bundle from Allure for um, subscribing last year, so I finished using it probably, I think in October or November. Um, so I had it open for about nine months, and it was pretty good. Uh, I don't think it, again, is very special, but I feel like this is just like a simple hyaluronic acid serum. So if you're looking for just a simple hyaluronic acid serum, this one's pretty good. I like this one more than The Ordinary. So The Ordinary and I don't really have the best of relationships. Um, so I think that their formulas might be good for some people, but for my skin, my skin needs a little bit more in terms of formulations and like kind of specificities. Um, so this particular product is very clean and things like that. It only has water, it only has... It only has water, sodium hyaluronate, potassium sorbate, and sodium benzoate. So it is a very simple product, again, similar to The Ordinary, but this one did not make me break out. The Ordinary makes me break out and want me to claw my face off. That's how much it itches. Um, so this product did work well for me. Okay, moving on to makeup. So the first thing here is from Dr. Jart. This is the Dr. Jart Air Mesh. I bought this at a sample sale. Um, so if you ever do travel to New York or you live here, the sample sales are always a really great place to try out new products. So they always have a Dr. Jart, Stila, and one other brand. I can't remember which brand it is offhand right now, but they always have like one of those um, sample sales. So I bought these and I kind of stopped up because I really do like this cushion. So this is what it looks like here. So it's kind of like an air mesh. Um, so it's not like the Misha ones where it's kind of more of a, like a styrofoam foam cushion. It's more of a mesh product here. So I ended up getting rid of it just because I lost the, the puff. Um, and also because it was kind of getting to the edge of their usability. But this does have a broad spectrum SPF of 30. It's the ear fitting mesh technology features lightweight texture and long lasting moisture coverage and a compact BB. And this one is for, um, has and this one does have three active ingredients for the sunscreen, so it has the titanium dioxide, octinicate, and the um, zinc oxide. Um, so yeah, I do like this. I would probably repurchase. I would probably repurchase the refill, but actually this compact is broken, so that's why I'm also getting rid of it. Okay, the next product here is, oh my gosh, I can't believe I finally used it up. Um, I just kind of like got... I think the technical term is hard pan, um, but just around the edges, I couldn't get any highlighter out anymore. Um, but this is the Milani Strobe Light um, highlighter. I really do think this was a really great purchase of mine. I think I paid like $5 for it back in like four years ago, um, but I ended up using it all up and that was really good. <laughs> that was like a really big achievement for 2021 for me. Um, but it was a really nice highlighter. I think they have like four or five shades or something like that. But anyway, I would repurchase this. I just have a lot of highlighters to work through just especially because I've been getting boxy charm these days. Okay, the next one is a base. So this one is the Air Cotton Makeup Base from Face Shop. Um, it's the 01 Mint, so this is for correcting any pinkness or redness. Um, and this one has an SPF 30 PA++. Um, so let me see. Yeah, so I was going to say, I think it had a scent, I just couldn't remember. It does have a scent, it's kind of like a fresh scent. Um, so it depends on what you like about your makeup base. It is a very affordable price point, um, and yeah, I think you can buy it at the face shop in K-Town. I think I've seen it there at least. Um, but it's pretty similar to like all of the other ones at the road shop, so I think you could probably buy it from Nature Republic and be fine. <laughs> A2000 be fine, industry and be fine. Um, I just got this one because I think it was like cheap and right there when I needed it. So yeah, anyway, this was fine. I would probably repurchase again if I'm ever in Korea and just wandering around. Okay, so the next product here is from Kill Black and this one is Club Cleo Kill Black and this is the eyeliner. So this one is like my go-to eyeliner. Um, it's black and it has a brush tip. Um, the one downside about it is that you do have to clean off the brush tip every once in a while, especially when it gets to the end of its life. So you just have to clean it off with like a tissue to make sure that the dry 
eyeliner comes off. Um, I do really like it. I would continue repurchasing it and things like that. Um, I usually, whenever I go to Korea, I usually stock up and this is waterproof, which is one of the major reasons why I get it. Um, they also have like a brown one too, if you like it. I think it's like Kill Brown. I don't remember, um, but I do like it. Okay, next is a stack of mascaras. So I'm gonna start with the ones that I hated. Um, so this one came in an advent calendar and this one is from Well People. Um, so this particular one was not waterproof at all. So that's why I hated it. It made me have almost immediately raccoon eyes. Um, and also the brush was um, a little bit stiff. Um, so this one has like the pokey brushes where they're like silicone. Um, I wasn't a huge fan. I also think this is like a clean skincare or clean makeup brand and it's in the Expressionist Mascara. Anyway, I would not repurchase this. Um, the tube is metal though, so that's kind of nice. Um, similarly, this product also did not work for me whatsoever. I got this in a BoxyCharm, I think in October. This is from Tint, it's the Lash and Brow Duo. Um, so this side here is for brows. This one is brown, as you can see. And it also has like fibers in it, I don't know if that comes off on camera. Um, and this one here is the mascara side and it's black. And um, so basically, yeah, uh, like I could immediately smell the smell. Um, so it's very scented. So it's weird to me that they put scent in a mascara for eyelashes, but they did. And it made me want to claw my eyes out. Um, I tried to give it a good college go and I tried it for like three days and each day it was like making my eyes worse and worse. Um, I also was like, okay, well maybe the mascara isn't for me, I'll try the brow. The brow, number one, is like way too light for me, and number two, it makes my eyebrows very crunchy, so I hated it. Um, so that's why I have to get rid of it. And it's an eye product, so it's not like I can give it to anyone to try out. So, unfortunately, this was a complete miss. Okay, the next one here is from the Maybelline. Um, so actually, I bought this in a three-pack from Target. It was like a last year Christmas sort of you know how they always have the packs um so i got it for like super cheap and i got this one the one i'm using now i can't remember what it is on one third one <laughs> anyway so professional um so i did actually like this mascara so actually it kind of yeah so it got a little bit dried in here so um the one thing that i always got messed up with is that i always thought this was going to be the actual tube but this is the brush side but i did like the brush it has like kind of like that hourglass brush shape um it is not super waterproof though so that kind of stunk for me so I did have to be careful especially if I wore it when I was going out wearing a mask the condensation from my breath kind of made it panda eyes um, but it was a really nice lifting mascara so it did really lengthen my eyelashes um, the one I'm using now is lash sational it's like in a pink tube sorry it's over there and I do like that one actually more than this one so this particular one was fine I do like the mini mascara tubes though because I can use it up in the time before it goes a bad because again I don't mess with my eyes okay the next one here is from Maybelline this is the snap mascara it's a tubing mascara and I got the waterproof one so actually I really really enjoyed this mascara um, I got it really cheap I think I might have actually gotten it for free almost at CVS because I had like a combo of coupons where there was like the $5 free makeup gift plus 40% off plus I had like extra care rewards so I think I got it basically for free and this is again a waterproof mascara so I really do like it and again it's tubing so it's quite nice and this is what the brush looks like it's somewhat curved um, and I thought it was really good for lengthening and also volumizing and then also since it's tubing it's very easy to remove um, and you only need warm water um, I also was like testing this during the summer so again wearing a mask and having like your warm <laughs> breath basically condensing on your eyelashes was a very good test for this because I knew I could remove it with warm water so I was a little bit worried about that condensation issue and it did not come off when I was walking around and also um, one of the other things was like if it's foggy out sometimes the waterproof mascara kind of like it's no longer waterproof and I did not have that issue with this particular mascara so I highly recommend okay the final two products here are some concealers um, so this is from Lancome and this one is the the ultra wear camouflage 
I don't know if the tent idol was like part of the um, French or something. Anyway, it's a corrector and this one is a ultra aware high coverage corrector. Um, so this one is the Universal Highlighter shade. So I was using this for a little bit. I was sent a free for review from Octoly, um, and then I like forgot about it for a year and then I like left because of COVID. So then I tried it again and it was very much expired and it irritated my under eyes, but that's my own fault for being an idiot. Um, I do really like this corrector and it's a really nice um, brightening under eye highlighter. Um, so I would totally repurchase this if I saw it, especially if it was on sale. Okay, and this particular product is one of my favorite concealers ever. This is the Big Cover Concealer Skin Fit Pro, and this is from Etude House, which is a Korean brand, and I got mine in the shade Beige Y04. Um, but basically, I used this for like almost an entire year, and even though I was using it even for like my entire face, not just like concealer, it lasted me like almost the entire year. This was just like really crazy. My friend and I were talking about that. Um, but I really do like this. It is a very nice full coverage concealer without being too heavy. Um, so sometimes when you get a full coverage concealer, if you can feel it, it's like caked on there. This particular one covered, but it wasn't like feeling thick. Um, so I would definitely repurchase this. I think it was also pretty cheap. I think it was like five to seven dollars. Um, I think that's Etude House, but don't quote me on that, but I would repurchase. box here so I've been in here a very long time so these are all things from my bathroom slash um, household areas so not as exciting um, so I thought I would just go through them quickly so the first thing here is the Crest Pro Health Advanced Multi Protection Fluoride Mouthwash um, I got this in a three pack from what's it called Costco and I also have like a really great coupon so this was like really good um, I do enjoy mouthwash every day <laughs> super exciting the next one is from Dove. This is the Go Fresh Cucumber and Green Tea Scent Body Wash. Um, so I actually had bought the one that the dark blue lid, but I think they substituted this um, in the warehouse because they were sold out or something. Um, this particular one is fine. I like the blue one better. Um, I have very sensitive not sensitive. I have very dry skin, like very, very dry. So my dermatologist actually told me that I should be using the Dove blue one just because um, it's like very inert basically. Um, so it's also unscented. So I do want to go back to that, but I do have quite a few body washes I'm going to try to work through and hopefully it doesn't ruin my skin. So my skin is just very, very, very dry. It's been dry since I was a very small child and um, yeah, it's the only way I can do it. I can't use bar soap or anything like that either. So yeah, Dove is the way to go for me. Super exciting again. This is my favorite toothpaste. This is the Crest 3D White Toothpaste, and this one is Radiant Mint. I think I like the other one, Brilliant or something, uh, Mint, but this one was the only one available for a while there, especially in 2020, so this is what I got to work with. Also super exciting is a deodorant. So I don't really use deodorant every day, so this has lasted me probably like too long, um, but I buy the men one because the men one doesn't typically have scent, and I don't know why they think women really want scent, but I don't want scented underarms. Um, but basically, yeah, I need a clinical strength deodorant, um, but it's not the deodorant part, I need the antiperspirant part, so the men one works better for me. Um, the women one used to work really well for me, the gel one, but they actually started not selling the unscented ones at or they stopped selling, that's a better way to say it, they stopped selling the unscented ones at Target, um, so that's why I had to switch to the men's one. Um, this one actually didn't work very well, so I'm happy that it finished. Um, I'm just like a very sweaty person, and luckily I don't smell when I sweat, I just sweat a lot, so I just need this. Um, sometimes I do use the gel one in the, in the um, summer on my face, where I just put a little bit on a cotton pad and I just pat it around my face just to prevent sweating. Again, I sweat a lot, so that's what I have to do. Okay, the next is a cleanser. This is from Cora's. This is a foaming cream cleanser. And I bought this at the uh, Cause Box. My brain shut off. I was gonna say a lower box, no, Ultra Box. Yeah, but no, I bought it when it was Cause Box back in February, no, fall 2020. Um, so I did end up opening it in March and I just finished it like this week. Um, this was a fine cleanser. I don't think it's anything special. It's always in like sales and things. So all, it's also always in a sample sale as well. This one, <laughs> the Coraz brand is always with Nest, the fragrance line. And then there's other 
Toka and Toka. So it's always Cora's Nest and Toka if you're into um, those samples. They're always together. And sometimes they're also with um, Moleskin, like the Nopa brand. But anyway, um, this one is a fine cream cleanser. It's not super scented. It does have kind of a fresh smell to it, but it's not like super duper heavy perfume. Um, it is a very nice cream cleanser. It doesn't really foam that much actually, so it does say it's a foaming cleanser, but it's not super foamy. So if you like a really sudsy thing, this one isn't for you, but if you do like a light foam, this one is for you. Okay, moving, moving on. This is from Avino, and this one, um, I think came in a gift set from my cousin. This is the Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub. So um, I don't think I would have purchased this in a full size, but it's fine. And I have another one in there because I think my sister gave me it. And this one is just, yeah, it's just fine. Um, it has little granules in it, which is like the scrub part, which is not my favorite necessarily. Um, but I also don't think it really did much for the softer, brighter, more even toned skin. But the other thing is, is also my dermatologist told me not to like wash every day just because of my skin being so, so dry. So um, maybe you're supposed to use this every day to see any sort of results and I just don't do it because I can't scrub every day. Otherwise my skin would be yeah, it would be less than the Sahara Desert if I did. Um, so this product was fine, but I don't think I would purchase. So I have a couple of oil lace cleansers. This is from Mamon. This is the Petal Spa Oil to Foam. And I got this in a gift pack that I bought at TJ Maxx last year. And this one was fine. Um, I don't necessarily think I would purchase it. It is kind of foamy, but it's not super foamy. So it's kind of like the Cora's foam level. Um, the oil part works pretty well for removing makeup, but it's not super great. And then um, in terms of what I would prefer for the oil-based cleanse, I get, I would prefer an oil-based cleansing balm more. Um, so again, this did fine, but I don't necessarily think that it's like the best. So I would probably repurchase it in the size to take with me on vacation or something, just so that I don't have to carry around all of my different cleansers, because it did just do okay. Um, it just wouldn't be best for me at my house. The next one is from Elemis, and this is the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Um, so I think I got this in a lower beauty box, or else they sent it to me free for review. I can't remember. This is a fine cleansing balm, and um, I think it's actually in the Allure Beauty Box for this month in December if you're a new subscriber. Um, but since I received it already, I don't think I'm going to get it. So I have used it completely up. Yeah, so it's very heavily scented. So it kind of smells like Centella. I don't know. Cilindula? I don't remember what it's called. It basically that stuff that you use for um, getting rid of mosquitoes. That's what it smells like to me. It's very strong though. Um, in terms of the cleansing balm though, it works really well to remove makeup. It just is very heavily scented. So I would say that if you are sensitive to scent, definitely don't do this. But if you are um, just like not happy with strong scents, don't do this. But if you don't really care either way, this is a very good cleansing balm, but it is a very expensive. Um, so keep that in mind as well. I think it's like $60 for the full size, which is crazy. Um, and the small one, I think it's like 20 bucks. Okay, the next thing in here is a sample native deodorant. This was sent to me free for review through Pinch Me, I think. Um, again, I don't really need a deodorant, so natural deodorants are useless for me because what I need is actually the aluminum for the antiperspirant needs so this is just like fine i used it but like didn't do anything for antiperspirant and i also don't smell when i sweat so this was useless um the next thing is so i'm going to move on with some very exciting content here i have a handful of allergy stuff so right here is some um what's it called allergy pills from target and they're supposed to be like claritin they're fine um this is like my go-to one i do have like the refill one that I bought to replace it for this year is from Costco, so I'll let you know if those any better. Um, I do think they're probably about similar. Um, my next one is my go-to for eye drops. This is from Aloe, and these are the Aloe eye drops. They're 12-hour eye drops for allergy eyes. They work really well. The off-brand ones do not work for me at all, so I always go back to these. Um, I also want to do the Pataday ones now that they're off of prescription and you can buy them over the counter. I am trying to save up for that because just like justifying it in my brain is like a lot because I think they're like 40 bucks. Um, but anyway, the final thing is from the, uh, the final thing is the nasal spray from Kirkland, aka Costco. Um, this is like kind of needed, especially in the fall for me. Um, it's just Flonase basically, but the, um, off-brand version. 
Okay, final three items. So this one is from Ahava. It's the Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream, and I got this in an Allure Beauty Box. Um, I think this was a fine product. I did not care for the scent actually, but the cream itself worked really well for my dry hands. Um, it just was like the smell was very perfumey and that's not my go-to. The next thing here is <laughs> so random, um, but I'm like obsessed with black licorice, especially the salty black licorice. And this one is, um, I got it at the Swedish store in what's it called? Minneapolis. Um, so I'll put a link to it below because actually I think they do shipping. So it's a really nice family owned business in Minneapolis and they have a ton of like Norwegian, Swedish and Finnish things there. Um, it's mainly Swedish based though actually. So now I think about it, ignore everything I just said. Um, but they have a ton of different black licorice options and this one I got and this one is the cactus and this one. Um, so it's a good thing I read the back because it's made with stevia. So <laughs> I was like, oh man, I need to forget about it because I was like reading here about how overconsumption can actually make you have like diarrhea and I was like, that's not a go-to thing for me. Um, but luckily it was like, actually now that I'm reading this, how did I know that? Because it's not in English. Anyway, I did take Swedish in college, but I don't think my Swedish was good enough to know that it causes diarrhea, but it did give me that. It also told me about, um, the back also tells you about uh, heart attacks and things like that because of, uh, the, the back also tells you about, like, cholesterol. The back also tells you warnings about licorice, so you know you shouldn't do it if you have a heart condition and blood pressure and stuff like that. Um, anyway, delicious, highly recommend. The final item here is from Capri Blue. It's the Volcano Classic, you know candle and this one was sent to me free for review it's like the classic travel size I burned it all the way through I was considering like trying to figure out how to clean this and like save the tin but it's also like what would I do with this tin um, but like, leave a comment below if you have any recommendations on what to do with the tin I really do like the scent um, but the in terms of the throw I think that's like the candle term um, I watched a little bit of candles content but I would not call myself an enthusiast I just like to cover up the fact that I, sm I like cook a lot of fish here so I like cook a lot of fish garlic and onions so those are the three things that you need to cover up so um, having a strong scent is nice but having it be like in my scent profile is also nice so this one is kind of like on the edge of not being my scent profile and in terms of strength this one wasn't super strong either um, so I can't smell it in my office room if I have it burning for example and like right now I have a candle burning over there um, I am and um yeah so i mean when i had it burning i could smell it in my common room but like faintly if i was sitting on my sofa so not ideal in terms of covering up scent but it was a nice scent um i think that they also have um a, like pura vita or something like that has a plug-in um that has this particular scent in it so i was considering buying that but it's also like a little bit spendy and i don't got that kind of cash for home fragrances at the moment um but yeah anyway that was everything that I had for you for my empties, and this is a very long video, so thank you if you stayed all the way to the end. Leave a comment below if you have any other opinions about anything that I have on here, because um, everyone's skin is different and everyone's experience is different. And also leave a comment below if there are anything that you would like me to try out in 2022. And then after I take a quick break to drink some water, I'm going to get back on here and kind of go through all of my empties that I used this year from my subscription boxes. So I will talk to you again soon and hope to see you around. Bye.